Stand please. All right in there? Um, yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I was just about, I'm about to take a shower. Uh, want some company? Um, yeah, of course I do. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm running late. So, um, how about tonight? Yeah. How about a movie night? Yeah, you've read my mind. Okay. Slow them down. What? What's the point here? Well, the idea is if you can teach your mind to calm the waves, you can teach it to calm the pain. Uh, I, I can't do. I can't do it. It's, it's dumb. It's not dumb. It's biofeedback. Like I can't. I can't stop the stupid make-believe waves. So, what else you got? Well, I have a minimally invasive spinal surgery that can deaden your nerves. No, I have to operate today. Then I got me believe waves. Or I got to make believe waterfall. Or a make believe campfire. Or I could just find a screwdriver and stab it in your foot. Stab me in the head. And how much does the Africa program cost? Less than you'd think. Admin costs come out of an endowment, and all the surgical time is donated. But endowments don't tend to grow with the popularity of these programs where. Very soon, you have every sick kid in Africa banging down your door. What happened? You need me to step in? No. No. Robins, try to picture the waves. I'm trying. Okay, really, what is what is happening? Just calm the waves. These are tsunami force waves, Ellen. What is wrong with this woman? I mean, is she having a panic attack? Should she even be in the OR? Don't you have another operation you need to go see? I mean, Shepard's doing Yeah, an acoustic neuroma, but that's later. No, it's now. He saw it hours ago. Look, you should go to go. Uh, no one is moving. I'm stripping the endocardium from the papillary muscle. I screwed this up. I have to replace the mitral valve, so don't move. I can switch up. Just out. shut up. I'm at the beach. to switch, Alex. No one is switching. You're holding the mitral valve, so don't move. What's wrong? Are you sick? Alex, take that scalpel. What? What are you doing? And stab me in the foot. What? What? It's my prosthetic. Stab me. What is wrong with you? Dr. Oh. I'm the chief of surgery. This is an order. Stab Dr. Robbins in the foot right now. Uh, Alex. Uh, of course. Uh, Alex. coming. It has been a privilege to watch you work, and I am so impressed with what I've seen. Dr. Karev's pediatric African exchange program. You cannot cut that program. I'm sorry, but these children, these little orphans, we are 
the only hope they have. Many of them have rare disorders that most Western doctors rarely have the opportunity to treat. And if you stop the program, I will never get that chance again. <laughs> They, they will never get that chance, precious children. I have no intention of cutting it. Super. Right, it's a no-brainer from a PR standpoint. That kind of positive visibility is gold. However, there will have to be some cuts. And I'm going to suggest one that is going to seem surprising at first, but that addresses fiduciary concerns with nominal impact on the core facility and the human and physical resources. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. I am proposing that we close your ER. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We're a level one the trauma center. We're a hospital. In the last three days, your ER went from being in shambles to peak efficiency. Well, then why would you propose cutting this it? This allowed me to see that in either case, it's not bringing in the money. It's bringing in the patients. Over half of whom are non-emergent, underinsured, and belong in a primary care physician's office. You have surgical interns in there doing chest exams. It's hemorrhaging resources. Look, I know these cuts are going to be painful, but understand that I am trying to keep your hospital doors open. This is ridiculous. You can't close the ER. You went to med school. You have to ask yourself. Do you have a better idea? Because the way I see it, this woman is trying to keep the hospital from closing, in, in which case there'd be no patients, we'd have no jobs, and some of us don't have a few million to fall back on, so unless you have a better idea, why don't you just sit there and listen to what she has to say? <clears throat> All right, so the other proposals include a review of ICU step down closures with a reorganization of the stay. Don't go. When it comes to accepting change, oh, this is so stupid. We're a level one trauma center. This woman's an idiot. Oh, wow, well, and a little bitch. Oh, this is supposed to be a good day. Shepard did a 23 hour surgery. We're supposed to be popping champagne. Let's try and go to sleep. Oh, I think I can. I'm so pissed. The mind holds out hope that the body can be whole again. Do you want to go to the beach with me? What? Gone? Is gone forever. <laughs>